to understand the role of metal ions in biology. And there are two major themes that are in this field. One of them is to understand the existing metals in biology and inorganic species in, in biology. And we work particularly in cancer research where um, the other avenue is the major one, which is to introduce metal ions as a probe or a pharmaceutical, either probe for understanding biological function or to treat disease. Most people, when they think about biology and biochemistry, they, they tend to think of, of the organic matter that's present. But many, many biological reactions require metal ions. You can look at your veins, they're blue, that's the oxyhemoglobin carrying the hemoglobin back to the lungs to become oxygenated or aerated. And that, that's a simple reaction, but if you didn't have iron in the protein, it wouldn't occur. So <clears throat> in health and disease, in when things are going well and things are not going well, physiology and pathology, almost every corner you, when you turn up something, you will see metal ions are involved in critical parts of the function. The discovery of the biological activity of cisplatin was completely accidental. It wasn't done by me. It was done by Barnett Rosenberg, a biophysicist at Michigan State, in the, working in the mid-60s. And ultimately, it became quite valuable for treating cancer in people. More than half the people who get treated with chemotherapy are getting a platinum compound these days. So my involvement has been to work on understanding the molecular mechanism of cisplatin, what it's, how it gets into a cell, what its targets are in the cell, which is mainly DNA in the nucleus of the cell, what's the structure, how does it change the structure, and what biological events are affected by the platinum bound to DNA, which we think is largely transcription, that is the conversion of DNA into RNA. And along the way, and, and most recently, um, we've discovered that compounds related to cisplatin, which were originally thought not to be active or really incredibly active and active against a very different panel of, of cancer cells, at least at the, at, the, at the cell culture level. And we're very excited about the potential that those compounds might bring new treatments. So we're working hard on those and uh, I think there's a reasonable chance that some of them will be in people uh, in clinical trials in the, in the near future, at least I hope they will. So I would like to cure at least one person of cancer before I leave the planet. The natural metals that we spent a lot of time looking at most recently are, are, are iron in this enzyme system known as methane monooxygenase. So for example, when uh, the Exxon Valdez went aground or had, an, had um, a spill in Prince William Sound in Alaska, lots of oil was spilled out and the oil got into the beaches and Exxon scientists came and spread minerals onto the beaches to stimulate the natural methanotrophic organisms to help clean up the beach and it worked very nicely. Bioremediation of the environment also occurred after the Gulf War, Persian Gulf War, uh, where the, the flora and fauna had been destroyed and brought they were brought back to a significant extent again by the use of methanotrophs. They're also used to clean up drinking water commercially to remove trichloroethylene and other components from drinking water. The ability to convert gaseous methane, which is one of the largest hydrocarbon fuels on the planet, into a liquid, methanol, which is also a fuel and also a, a commodity chemical that could be used to make other chemicals, would be tremendous because you would significantly impact the economics, or in potential you could impact the economics, to bring methane, natural gas, from remote sites where it's really difficult to get it as a gas and transport it. Um, by moving it into a liquid, you could fill tankers, you know, ships, and, and transport long distances. So that, you know, that's kind of what scientists do. They, they solve puzzles, or they work on puzzles, and hopefully they solve them. Uh, and it's, it's thrilling to, to get, you know, to be able to see and understand things at that level. <laughs>